Scott. Taking dead aim here. Oh, what a shot from Scott again. He is dialed in. At seven feet for his second birdie of the day. Adam Scott off to a great start. And he's now two under for the championship. With our virtual eye, Top Tracer technology, the tee shot of Adam Scott at 14. That's awesome. It never looks. When he stands over a shot, he is so well positioned to give himself the best chance to execute it. Up to this point, Andrew, he has been spot on with his distance control. Watch how still he stays over the ball. Head stays still. Try to make sure he flies it over the ridge. Stay up. It has been a filtration of how he putts. Uh, it's, you hate saying it. Uh, you look there, that club is not anchored. It's away from his shirt, just for our viewers. He hits so many quality shots, he gets he gets frustrated. And once he starts missing these putts, and this is where it's, it's been from eight to six feet, he has really struggled. And he feels like it filters down through his game because he feels like... Tee shot for Scott. Leaking left here on 15. He finds that. Heavy the rub rough, up the left yeah. hand side. Left side of the 15th hole. That's some nasty rough on that left hand side. Big swing there. He got a lot of it. Is it uh, mm. Just trickles to the. He's coming out of the long rough. Ball did not make its way back down in the bunker. Tough camera view there, but. Uh, Missed the fairway also, this for par. Nicely done. Adam Scott. Adam Scott will be first to play. In his rehearsal, he was trying to make sure he released that right side so he could turn it over. Just hangs it out to the right. Perfect club, though. Keep this inside the hole and firm. Just powers it right in. Great sign if the hands go and the club kind of almost like a casting motion. That's a feel that a player loves to have to get the club released so the club stays in front of you. I think if you did that, the ball would go left. But when you match up the arm swing and the body rotation, you hit shots just like that. That's just below his feet, aiming at those bunkers, inside bunkers on the left, trying to work it high from left to right. Did he overcut it? Did he overcut it? Yeah, he said not that much. And that one trickles into the... Mm. Not his best. Adam Scott for birdie. Dude, is he spot on? Wow. He has three under today. And it's been easy for him. That's what he's trying to do here. See if he carries that bunker down the left, fits it right in between those two bunkers. Well executed. How much will that influence a shot of Adam Scott? from Scott again. Stay. Yep, it stays up on that slope. As you said, he has really been aggressive on these putts. A 31 on the second nine here at Bell Reeve. He's four under on his round. Was Swing so beautifully here in rhythm. It's been great up to this point. Full release of the club. Turn, baby. Turn. Trying to turn over from right to left. Those bunkers certainly in play today. 
And he's in the bunker. Uh, uh, to the right. And will funnel back off the green. Coming off this swords of grass, these shots made it a bit easier. Cares it just over the ridge. Today, this putt for par. He too has been spot on with the speed, been very aggressive. How about it? You bet. This is fun to watch. Adam Scott. Tension free in this setup. Challenge the water on the left. All right. All's well. Shortens the second shot a bit. Only 145 to the hole. Over the water. And he's over the green. Just what we talked about there. The one bit further. Couple three degrees difference of loft. Somewhat like of a putting stroke here. See, it's up on the toe here. The ball gets on top of the grass, exactly what he's trying to do, work it up the ridge. Voila. That's a great play. Yep. Really smart. Let's look at this. <laughs> ball gets up in the air, stays on the top of the grass, what he was trying to do. Adam Scott, can he do it again for par? And, and again with authority. Beat goes on. This is fun to watch. To see him comfortable on the putting green. Just free. Just the wedge. I mean, you can play a different couple. You can hit your wedge. You can play your gap wedge. Depending on the player's setup. T shot for Adam Scott at the third. Gosh. Doesn't like it. No. Left. Coming from the second hole. That's Adam Scott right there. His birdie attempt here at the second comes up short. That's T shot at the fourth. We'll try to work it a bit from right to left. Same line as DJ. See if it carries now. Just underneath the racket. That's the canopy up the left hand side. The players have to deal with. No need to take on that flag. Depends on how it comes out of this line. Sends it out to the right. Canopy of the trees didn't cause an issue. Try to chase it up there. Nasty line. All right, here at the fourth, just off the green, Adam Scott trying to get up and down for par. So had to work a little bit harder here since he made the turn. I, I'm surprised. Uh, he's got plenty of green to work with. That slope is it's just a gradual slope, but he flights it down trying to work it up the hill. I thought he might take less loft so he avoid coming up short. That ball um, pitched on the green. And he still doesn't. Continues to have the correct speed. He just buries another one. Adam Scott, reversing at the top of the swing, making sure he releases that right side and matches his body rotation. Make sure he releases the club and doesn't lose it out to the right. Arms oh, got in front of the body there. That one's way left. But wait, nickname Sponge, onto his bag this championship and already they're forming a nice combination. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. The guy's dialed in now. Question is just get out of your own way. He is putting so well, taking pressure off his approach shots and it's just not much. They're not worried about the ball running out. 
but uh, yesterday morning we majority of the players came up short they've made the adjustment it's really the first one that's a weak putt that we've seen from Scott well, it would have been a bonus birdie given the tee shot yeah <laughs> great break still no bogeys on the card it's been a much improved performance Almost flawless over that opening nine holes, playing the back nine on the course, but it just got a little awry for Adam early in this second nine, but he seems to have righted the ship. Like the look at it. look at this, don't they? Wow. It's great when you see the world at the moment. He's picked up two and a half strokes on the field in putting this for another birdie why not i mean it's been it's been awesome the previous hole was the only putt that came up weak and it was probably his easiest putt that he missed but uh, i can't say it enough uh, this is delightful to watch this man wise decision here there was a time that hitting that kind of tee shot was difficult the long line off the tee put it in play it was not the the gimme that it is with good conditions i don't care where you play them they are going to shoot it up they're that good adam scott just a gap wedge in well, it's been interesting to watch adam with his wedge game today and um, i think they respected what Adam has achieved in the game and, and show this has been the range where he's just been pulling them all in with the exception of five. <laughs> yep, and it has been putts that have been firmly struck. Just through the break there. I'm okay with that. No. Nope. You'd say, okay, I missed that one. A little read, it might have been but you never, the ones that come up and bleed, look like they're gonna go in and bleed off. That's the ability to shape the ball from right to left. That is A1. Let's see how close Scott can get to that drive of DJ. Well, that's better from Adam, who has really struggled off the tee on this inward half. And talks about that bowed wrist that he ends up with at the top the lift up take away but the it's really the shoulder turn that's so impressive the flexibility for him to get those shoulders beyond the ball and then just the power down and through it it, it really is just mashed 340 with a slight fade is prodigious and now Adam Scott well this has been a swing that everyone's just adored for decades it's just a lovely balanced full turn gets a good position at the top He's been a little out of sync on this second nine, but this one was in the slot and a full release through impact and ended up some 300. Now Adam Scott, five under on his round today. And he can certainly reach this green in two. Uh, it is slightly uphill, so a little bit longer than the 265 actual yardage, but something at that camera tower would be ideal. Hold your head. Hold your head. <laughs> just comes up short you can hear them say just hold your head up it was just drifting off the flag a little bit which took to those little ridge and he's got to come up and over and let it release down to the hole oh, oh, great shot really nice and a tap in birdie I could hold this, make a little eagle, but a tap in birdie helps. That'll be his sixth of the day, and there's been a major move by Adam Scott in the second round. Six under par for the day. Adam also going with less than driver. Staying out to the right for Scott and into the rough. And it's amazing how that.
166 yards, playing more like 176. The only thing he doesn't want is a jumper. And this one would fly out of the rough, an extra 10 yards on him. And that one jumped left and into the bunker. Not a par save attempt coming up right here. Undoubtedly, this would be a three, maybe four times out of 10, getting it up and down with firm, fast conditions, maybe five, six with the softer greens. A yeah, smart play, throwing it to the hole was the right option. You didn't it's a very big putt for Adam here. You want to finish with the par, a lot of break to it. Mm. as I thought just difficult to get up and down out of that bunker that was the error missing the fairway off the tee cost him only blemish of the day a disappointing bogey to close it out but Adam Scott fires a sixth